Hey, this is the Young Fox Scene Free, free tutorial about how to shoot your own 3D stereo anaglyph photographs and then to view them through the red and uh, blue glasses, red and cyan glasses that come with this uh, fall scene issue 2010 of the free Athens, Georgia magazine, Young Fox Scene Free. You can also see expanded version of this issue online at youngfoxyfree.com and if you need some glasses you can send us a self-addressed stamped envelope and we will mail you a pair of these really cheap um, glasses that you hold and you want to look through with your left eye through the red and your right eye through the cyan side as you view the stereo images in our magazine or the ones that you're going to be able to create because anyone can do this there's no real magic about it you just need two images of your scene you uh, can do that by taking two cameras and putting them about well as close as they can probably get so that the distance between the lenses is uh, not too much greater than the distance between your eyes you're trying to replicate the experience of looking with a left eye and a right eye you want to label those two cameras left and right so you can keep track of which images um, go with which as you'll see later on when we work with the layers uh, in Photoshop or you can take one camera and take two photos which is the way we did it and we had it locked down on a tripod and had a sliding bracket that allowed us to take two photographs of every scene in rapid succession with a minimal amount of shift especially on the horizontal but you can take your own photographs uh, even by standing, just be very careful and try to take two that are very similar of the scene. And later on, you can probably um, adjust the position of them a little bit to get that to um, line up a little bit better. So we've got a right image uh, and a left image. We're using Photoshop, but you could use Photoshop Elements, which is a $99 program, or some other image editing program that allows you to um, edit uh, with layers. That's the system that we're going to use here. And this is after doing a good amount of research on Google, uh, typing in anaglyph or stereo photography. So you can do it yourself. And just to get started, get your two images opened up in Photoshop and get your layers palette ready. You're going to be um, building up a few layers on top of one image and we're going to use the right image to get started here um, as soon as we get it open as our our base uh, image and build on top of that okay so get your right image and then go over to your layers palette and create a new layer which will appear on top of your right image uh, you can get to that a few different ways um, in Photoshop and once you've got your new layer, you want to fill that with a color. We're going to fill this with an RGB value. Uh, RGB is one of the color spaces that you'll see in your color um, uh, adjustment area here. We're going to fill it with red, which is just pure red. So that's um, 255, the maximum number for red, and zero for green, and zero for blue. So fill this layer uh, by changing the colors there in your window and now that you've got a red layer on top of your uh, your, your right eye photograph we're going to use a drop down box and the layers palette that's going to change the blending mode for this layer for this red layer the one that's selected click on that and pull down to screen now you've got a colorized uh, red overlay on your on your color image for your right um, photograph and we'll build on top of this by going over and grabbing the left photograph uh, select that photograph copy it uh, you can close that window come back to where we're working on our um, on our pile of layers here and just paste and your new or your left image will appear as, as the third layer up in this stack. And we want to repeat the process that we did uh, for the left, um, uh, I mean for the, uh, the, the first photograph, the one on the right. You're going to create a new layer above, above this top photo. 
and fill it with the opposite of red. And in RGB, that's going to be 0, then 255 for green, and 255 for blue. And this will give you the cyan color that is the opposite of that red, or at least the color that matches the one that is in the glasses. So you've got cyan above your left photo and red above your right photo. Now what we want, it, uh, once again, you're going to take the cyan layer and choose the blending option screen, just like you did before. This one looks a little bit different because there's some stuff underneath that isn't um, allowing that color to maybe come through right now, but we'll fix that in a second. Select that layer and the layer below it, the cyan layer and the photograph below it. Select them both by holding down the shift key until they're both and selected. And now we want to merge these two layers, just these two, and not flattening the whole image, but just merging these top two layers, your cyan and your left image. Now the blending option of that is reverted back to normal, which is uh, what it is now. But you are going to change the blending mode here by clicking on that blending options and pull down to multiply. And now you have it. If you were to look at this photo right now with your 3D glasses, it's going to be in 3D. Uh, the gravel's in the foreground and the angled beam is behind that and then the everything else just keeps marching back into space. That's all there is to creating these 3D photos with your two images. You may want to zoom in a little bit and make some adjustments. You can just move that top layer around to kind of line some stuff up. The horizon, the horizon line or elements that are horizon line elements, probably you want the you know to keep those together and those could be a little different especially if you handheld the camera but even on a tripod um, you may want to shift left to right a little bit to recalibrate I guess the amount of um, 3d-ness that's in there but definitely you know these images are out of register they were taken from two different points of view so you're not trying to line them up left and right that's just the way they're supposed to look until you put the glasses on and then most of that ghosting is going to go away. If you've been shifting things around, you'll uh, you know, probably want to crop the image uh, and you'll to save this image and do stuff with it. You probably want to flatten it as well. It probably makes more sense to flatten it first. Um, these photos can be viewed on your monitor, you know, computer device, any kind of a screen or they can be printed. You could print it out in your home printer or you can use it in a publication like we did where it was printed in uh, CMYK, um, the printer's uh, color space. But uh, we are working with an RGB image. That's the uh, screen color. It's sort of the default color that you're gonna work with images in that come out of your camera or out of a, um, in the case of our disposable camera we had that film developed and just had the lab transfer those images to uh, a CD so RGB that's fine for most uses and you can put these pictures on Flickr or you can send them to Young Foxy and Free and let us develop a little gallery of 3D photographs that you and others uh, have taken and we can share those on Flickr or on Facebook or something. So stay in touch with us at youngfoxyfree.com. Go out and take your stereo 3D photos and look at them with your glasses and support our ad partners, please. Thank you very much.